How to Protect Information Assets from Physical and Environmental Threats in Accordance with ISO 27001 Protecting Information Assets from Physical and Environmental Threats Implementing Security Controls for Buildings, Data Centers and Other Facilities and Managing Business Continuity and Disaster Recovery are essential aspects of information security management according to ISO 27001. Here's how you can address these areas in line with ISO 27001 requirements. Number one, protecting information assets from physical and environmental threats. A. Risk assessment. Conduct a risk assessment to identify physical and environmental threats such as fire, flood, earthquake, theft and vandalism. Assess the potential impact of these threats on information assets and business operations. B. Physical access controls. Implement access controls by restrict entry to facilities where information assets are stored. Use methods such as access cards, biometric system and security personnel to control physical access. C. Environmental controls. Implement environmental controls including temperature and humidity monitoring to safeguard information assets stored in data centers and other facilities. Use fire suppression system and water leak detection system to mitigate fire and water damage risks. D. Secure storage. Store backup media and sensitive information in secure and fire resistant safes or cabinets. Implement off-site storage for critical backups to protect against on-site disaster. Number two, implementing security controls for buildings, data centers and facilities. A. Security policy. Develop and enforce a comprehensive security policy that covers physical security requirements. Clearly define roles and responsibilities related to physical security measures. B. Security infrastructure. Install security infrastructure such as surveillance cameras, alarms, and motion sensors to monitor the premises. Ensure security personnel are adequately trained to respond to security incidents. C. Access control system. Implement access control system that track and restrict entry to sensitive areas within buildings and data centers. Regularly review and update access permissions based on employee roles and responsibilities. D. Visitor management. Implement visitor management procedures including sign-in, sign-out processes and escorting visitors within secure areas. 3. Managing business continuity and disaster recovery. A. Business impact analysis. Conduct a BIA to identify critical business processes, their dependencies and acceptable downtime. Determine recovery time objectives RTO, and recovery point objectives RPO, for critical processes and systems. B. Business Continuity Plan BCP, and Disaster Recovery Plan DRP. Develop BCP and DRP documents outlining the steps to be taken in the event of disaster or disruption. Test the plans through regular stimulations and update them based on the test results and lessons learned. C. Backup and redundancy. Implement regular and secure backup procedures for critical data and systems. Ensure redundant systems and failover mechanisms are in place to minimize downtime during disasters. D. Training and Awareness Provide training to employees on their roles and responsibilities during a disaster or business disruption. Conduct regular drills and training exercises to ensure employees are prepared to respond effectively. By following these guidelines and integrating them into your organization information security management system, you can protect information assets from physical and environmental threats, implement security controls for buildings and facilities, and effectively manage business continuity 
and disaster recovery in accordance with ISO 27001 standards. Remember that regular reviews, updates and employee awareness are key to maintaining the effectiveness of these measures. That was all for today. For more ISO related videos, please subscribe to our channel. Thank you.